as the one year anniversary of this administration is approaching, President Balatinabu has been called upon to fire all incompetent and disloyal members of his cabinet and replace them with those who can help him secure the country better, among other development indicators. Addressing a press conference on Thursday, a group known as Southwest Sinibu Shatima Presidential Supporters Movement in Lagos who vowed to expose those scheming for the president's death stated that some people were paying marabout millions of naira and dollars to pray for the president to be sick or even die. The group also urged the party's leadership to weld the big stick and dismiss these double agents who have been alleged to work against the party's candidate in the Kogi governorship election and are currently working to truncate the party's victory in the election tribunal. This character has been using their position as an appointee of the president to pursue their personal agenda. And because of their performance in office, they have, they have been woeful till date. Rather than concentrating on improving on the, on the country's security and the economy, they are busy are chasing a perceived political um, enemies all around the country. What they are supposed to do, what they are supposed to do, they are not doing it. What they do is just to you know, chase their political enemy and leave their core duties. This continues to give our party a bad name among Nigerians because they are not justifying the appointment what, whatsoever but concentrating and alienating those who are working hard for the success of the party in the last presidential, uh, presidential election. For instance, the former governor of uh, El Rufai of Kaduna um, and Ganduje of Kano, we are the forefront of the northern governor who gave hundreds of 100% hundred support and loyalty with tireless hard work and enjoying that Ashwaju victory to emerge as a party presidential candidate and eventually the presidential, uh, the president and commander in chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. While reaffirming beliefs in the current reforms of the president in Ibu's administration, they urge Nigerians to be patient with the president as the country is bound to enjoy the dividends of democracy under his good and courageous leadership. This is no fault to all of us that former governor Yaya Bilu put in all resources and everything to win the state for President Bola Amertinogo and some other people too that put in all they, they could do. Now, I think we shouldn't pay all these people with evil or pay them back with betrayal. Please, we want to suggest, as we are pledging our loyalty for the president, nothing is wrong with our president, forget about the viral video and all of that. We want to just let the president know that there are some bad eggs, some elements in his government that are just pushing. They don't want him to succeed. That is what I see it to be. Because they are not even loyal to the party at the first instance. If they are loyal to the party, they won't be going about doing all of these things. We want our president to succeed.